Well, hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for the end of February right through the end of March 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Aries, this is your twin flame reading for those twins who are currently in separation. The first pile is going to be your pile, the second pile will be your person's pile, and the third and fourth pile will be the unified energy of how things are going to work out, okay? Also, it's worth checking to see what a twin flame connection is, because if anyone is mentally, physically, or emotionally abusive, that is not a twin flame connection, that is more likely to be a false flame connection, and it will drain you of your beautiful love and waste your wonderful time, okay? Okay. Now, twin flames, they are magnetic. When you meet your person, it is a relationship like no other. It's almost like looking in a spiritual mirror of part of you that you feel has been missing for all of your life, a part of you that you feel perhaps you've been searching for. Now, I always believe that we are whole all by ourselves and that anyone who comes into our life is a welcome addition. However, the twin flame dynamic is a very difficult experience and there tends to be a runner, a chaser and a separation period because both parties, they're looking at things within themselves that need to be healed. The twin flame dynamic actually triggers things within ourselves that we have run away from or that we have left unhealed for quite some time. And it amplifies those feelings in order for the twin to really look at it, process it, heal it, and spiritually evolve. Now, the twin flame is actually an activated relationship. Now, what that means is it's more about your spiritual awakening and connecting to your true life's purpose and mission than it is being with your twin at first. Now, some people, they do not want to wait for their twin, and that's actually perfect because you should never wait for anybody. Never wait for your twin because when the moment is right, you and your person will come back together in union. It's more about putting all that care, that love, that devotion, erecting healthier boundaries and also you know you put it all in yourself and that's when you change the frequency it often spins you off onto your life's purpose mission because every twin tends to come to this lifetime with a particular mission but also there are certain things that one needs to learn in a twin flame connection and for some of you, it may be about codependency, addictions, or uh, insecurities, trust issues. And uh, for some of you, it could also be abandonment issues because these are the things that tend to play out heavily in a twin flame connection. So let us see what's going on in your twin flame uh, connection. Uh, I do like to describe twins as like magnets, two identical magnets in the same frequency because you are twins. You are mirrored energy, projected energy. And you know, if um, both parties are in the same frequency, the magnets, they attract each other, but they also repel each other. There is a space in between. We are all energetic exchanges between ourselves uh, when it comes to human interaction and of course, interaction with our everyday environment. It's all about energy. Now, if this is the chaser and puts all that love, care, and devotion into themselves, connects to their own uh, purpose path, then you change the frequency over here thus changing the frequency in the magnet. It encourages your person to come forward and you're um, attracting your person back into your life, but at the same time, it also encourages them to change their frequency and step up on their spiritual path and no longer avoid their feelings until such time as there is a match. But if this person, the chaser, keeps like uh, reaching out to their twin, um, chasing them, or even thinking about their twin and really doesn't spiritually evolve or think about themselves at all, then you perpetuate the cycle, the 
the space will always remain the same. It's not a game, it's an energetic exchange, and I want you to be aware of that, okay? Now, let's see what's happening for you and your twin, my beautiful Aries. I can see that you are a very loyal person. You know, the full card there indicates you're willing to take the leap of faith. You're showing up very strongly in your side of uh, the chart. And, um, you know, the first pile, of course, is your protagonist energy. It's how you've been feeling. And uh, the second pile is how your person feels about you. And then, of course, it's the outcome to see what's going on there. Now, um, you've got the full card, so that indicates you are willing to take that leap of faith. You are willing to open yourself up to the journey of love. And I feel to some degree, you know, you went blindly into this. You opened your heart to this person. You opened to that level of vulnerability. And you offered care, devotion, support. And also, you're someone who is super fun to be with, okay? Uh, you have a playful heart, uh, a wonderful spirit there. But I also feel there is something from childhood that perhaps has played out in this twin flame connection. So some of you may have noticed patterns or similarities to experiences that you've had that perhaps you witnessed in childhood from your parents or guardians or experiences that you had. Uh, for some of you, my beautiful Aries, if you like grew up in uh, care, it could be that, you know, you um, have like noticed patterns when it comes to what your uh, first foundation of what it means to love. You know, there's a witness kind of energy there. And it could also mean that your person is presenting this energy too, because sometimes the energy flips there. So I am picking up uh, briefly on something from childhood that you or your twin have uh, uh, witnessed. It could be parents or guardians divorcing. Uh, I'm feeling very strong energy from your person that they have um, witnessed or experienced deception. Okay, so I feel this person has, um, and this is your twin, I feel like they've experienced something that has made them feel very hesitant about love. Uh, we will go a little bit deeper when we get to their energy, but right now that's what's coming through there. Uh, this person, your twin, may have confided this experience in you, uh, but ultimately I feel there's a lot of love that they have for you here, uh, but we need to see what it is that has kept this person distant because they do have the tower, which means huge awakening. And I feel this person, you know, it's not too far in the future that this person is ready to really like open their heart, listen to their heart and their intuition and be ready to fall in love and take that journey. However, looking at your energy, I feel like, you know, um, with that Ten of Swords there, you feel this has been a very painful experience. You know, you opened yourself up to that level of vulnerability and it does feel like a rejection, but, uh, and it does, I, you know, I, I've been there, I completely understand, but, um, I really want you to be aware, it's more that the twin is denying parts of themselves, they're avoiding doing the spiritual work, and they are keeping love at arm's length because they are uh, in fear that they have to really look at the stuff that they've been running away from their whole life before they even met their twin, okay? Because the twin flame, it exposes both parties. You can't get away with your typical patterns when you're with a twin flame. So if, for example, your twin, they always coasted in a relationships or they were on the surface or, you know, they promised the world and delivered nothing, when they meet their twin, they know they cannot get away with their usual patterns. So that's why they avoid, push their twin away, and they kind of bolt from the union because they feel so exposed. And it really like forces them to do the energetic spiritual work to step up. Now, again, it's not a game, it's an energetic exchange. And your first card there is the dog, which in the Lenormand deck represents your loyalty, your companionship, your care. And also you did everything you could to try and save this, okay? Uh, the dog indicates that, you know, you offered a level of protection to this person. You know, you know that this person is your twin flame and you were trustworthy. I definitely get an energy here that um, you wanted to be a friend to this person as well. So you try to understand things from their viewpoint rather than just sort of push this away yourself. You try to understand, okay? Um, and that's what's made you feel um, very exposed in this connection too. I mean, the dog with the fool energy, it can indicate that you are trusting your instincts. And uh, right now you're feeling that perhaps it's time for you to take a new adventure, open yourself up to a new path. I mean, the four wands deep down, this is how you're feeling like deep, deep down your secretive side, you'd want to reunite. 
You know, some of you, uh, you wonder what this person's up to. Um, you, you see that there were some really good times with this person. And I feel you have a bit of a conundrum right now. It's number 18, which is the moon card energy. So even though your instincts are telling you to sort of like um, know that this is your twin and that uh, you will reunite one day. Also, um, you are really looking at logistics and being really logical and thinking, you know what, they're not present in my life right now. So it's time for me to move forward and move on. Some of you are really close to cutting that cord if you haven't done it already, because that 10 of swords is there. It's like, you're done. You can't do this anymore. It's too painful. And there's been a bit of a cycle of repeat that keeps happening in this twin flame connection. And it's not healthy is what I see you uh, feeling. Uh, now, also, I mean, I do see that you are fluctuating in your energy, and this may not resonate with everyone, but I am getting like um, this kind of overwhelming energy of like, it's done. I can't do this. I'm not doing this. And then there's these quiet moments where it's like, but I'm yearning. I want to be with this person. Why? You want answers. And I feel to some degree, you're going to get those answers from this person eventually. One day I can see that happening. Um, but right now you're feeling that you should like... Um, take a leap of faith and move on because the fool is a new beginning, but it's also an Aries card, which means you're focusing on your own needs. You're focusing on your own path and you're so ready for like a new adventure because this feels really heavy. But when you've got the dog and you've got the fool there, it does indicate there is something from childhood that perhaps has, um, you know, influenced the way you operate in love relationships as well. And this could be something that you're healing within yourself or that you've recognized, you know, um, some people, if they've witnessed like divorces or separations or betrayals in their family in some way, it may have influenced the way they operate in love. It makes them feel that they're not safe in a loving environment, that there is always the potential potential for the person to either leave or uh, be cheated on. And this is your first foundation of what it means to love. It doesn't mean it's your narrative. It doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. Maybe it has. I haven't uh, seen it come up in your energy right now. But I feel like uh, some of you may have witnessed something that has made you feel uncertain about relationships and the twin flame dynamic has amplified that. So it's almost like calling it to attention so that you need to look at it and heal it. Okay. But I feel like you are on that healing path there. Um, the full card, it is trying to embrace happiness. You just want to be happy. You just want to fall in love. So some of you are thinking perhaps it's time to uh, open yourself up to a soulmate and really cut the twin flame short because this journey has been too intense and too lonely is what I see there as well. And I'm sending you a huge hug out there, my beautiful Aries. I know it is a very difficult dynamic to take. Okay. Now you've also got the four of wands here. That means deep, deep down, you do want to be reunited with this person. The four of wands is to connect because there's something about this twin flame that feels like home. Okay. Um, now I'm going to pull a card on this because, um, the four of wands can also indicate that you just want to go out and have fun. You want to let your hair down. You want to, um, connect to somebody. And some of you beautiful Aries, there may be about 10% energy that I've got coming through. Some of you may have already just met somebody new and you're wondering how it's going to go. However, the twin flame journey kind of haunts you in some way, and you're trying to resolve that within yourself. So let me just pull a card on that because the main energy here is that you are a beautiful, loving, loyal soul and you deserve love and you deserve to be loved in the way that you want to be loved. And, you know, we have to acknowledge that twin flames, they both have their own journey. So if you are spiritually more evolved because the twin who is the chaser tends to be more spiritually evolved and then the runner tends to play catch up. They tend to have not met themselves very deeply. You know, we can only meet each other as deeply as we have met ourselves. And I feel like you are uh, thinking it's time to move forward to just enjoy life and have fun. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you beautiful Aries have met somebody new. But also, I feel if you haven't, you may be meeting a soulmate very, very soon. And I feel this is something that could turn into a deep partnership if you're walking away from your twin. However, you need to cut that cord. Otherwise, you will feel very confused about who you want to connect to long term. Now, there's lots of like videos online of how to spiritually cut that cord if 
it is your desire to do so, but there's going to be a lot of energy that I feel right now uh, of my beautiful Aries not really wanting to step away at this time. Um, the Page of Pentacles really tells me that you have been making the effort, okay, but also that you've been learning about uh, the Twin Flame connection and you're trying to be realistic. You don't want to waste time. You've been someone who has been dependable. You've constantly made that effort and also you've tried to understand their journey and uh, that is a very mature and admirable thing to have done, but at the same same time I get the sense of enough is enough okay because you've got that ten of swords there as an outcome energy now that can mean two things I mean you've got double ten here which is like you want the happy ever after you wanted it to be with your twin but you've been forced into a position where you feel like nothing's moving you know it feels very much like stalemate so you're having to detach yourself from that but that ten of swords can indicate that you're open to a new start with your person with your twin however there needs to be accountability taken there needs to be an old way of patterns and you know cycles of repeat they need to be broken things need to change so I feel you're really looking at that at this time now your person they have the tree now, this is why I feel there is some sort of cycle of repeat going on with your person. I feel this person has emulated something they witnessed in childhood. Now, it could be that both of you, to some degree, have had experiences like that. And I mean, it could be anything. It can be parents or guardians divorcing, cheating, separating. Uh, it could be abandonment issues. It could also be bullying, you know, uh, you know knocking one's self-worth. But I feel for your person in particular, it's more to do with something that they witnessed in their childhood or it's in their heritage. So this person's been given a, um, a very difficult task of having to break a cycle of repeat, ancestral wounding. And it's not that easy either. But uh, this person, I feel it is something that they have come to accept. They're starting to look at it. Now, number five, of course, is hierophant energy. So that means that this person is learning, but also I feel like they're learning to choose healthier options in life. The tree actually represents, you know, deep rooted, um, you know, it's an energy of slow process. Uh, they do want to settle down. They do want longevity in a relationship, but I feel that this person, they have a lot of fear. I mean, deep down, the moon card can represent fear, anxiety, uh, trust issues, feeling very confused, feeling very like indecisive because of something that has happened that they've experienced as their foundation, right from the very roots of who this person is. So let me just uh, pull a card on it to see exactly what's going on with your person. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide the Empress energy? My beautiful Aries, what do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? The High Priestess. And the Moon. Uh, this person's fears come from... Um, well, the main energy I'm getting is like a matriarchal type figure. So I feel something has happened to their parent or guardian who was the matriarch. I mean, it doesn't have to be male or female. It's not gender specific, but I feel like it's a parent or guardian um, that this person, they went through some stuff, like some really damaging stuff. And your twin has witnessed this and they have absorbed all the fears of the family unit, you know, and also this person felt a lot of responsibility to step up. So it's almost like when they were younger, they were a lot more responsible than they are as they get older. They start to really go, you know what, I want to go and have fun. I don't want responsibility. I want to like not settle down. And I feel when you met this person, um, they had all that on their shoulders. And I'm not here to give anyone an excuse. I'm here to understand the human psyche and why people make certain choices and uh, choices that they also regret is what I see with your person. Um, but I have to understand the energy in order to transmute an outcome for you. Uh, but also I'm getting this energy that this person, there's something about you. It's like they feel like you are bewitching. Okay, it's almost like, and they may have said this to you, that you have put a spell on them. And I'm not talking about literal spell. There's a psychic bond between you and this person. And there's also unconditional love. And I feel this person's like, what is this? They've never experienced that level of unconditional love. And they don't trust it because they feel like it's something that can be taken away from them. Because I do feel this person, uh, they've experienced a loss there's mistrust there. As soon as you get the uh, high priestess, it tells me there's mistrust. And the root cause of that is 
experiencing some sort of level of deception or uh, something hidden comes to light. It's like they start to invest in a relationship or in a friendship and suddenly they find that that person doesn't have their best interest at heart or uh, that there's something going on uh, behind the scenes. So I feel this person, the energy that I'm getting is this person has been cheated on in the past or they've witnessed cheating to such a degree that it's made them very hesitant about getting into a relationship. The moon card, it's like they have this inner battle, this inner fight or flight mode of settling down or wanting to be very independent because the dog represents, of course, uh, you know, um, comfort, uh, longevity in a relationship, companionship. And the wolf is all about independence and uh, being someone who goes off and does their own thing, really self-sufficient, doesn't really need anybody, but at the same time craves comfort and occasionally returns for that comfort. And this person may have been in that cycle of repeat. Now, I'm going to pull a card because some of you beautiful Aries, before you met this person, they were in a high-level commitment. Either they were married or in a long-term commitment and there was um, a lot of secrets in this relationship. So they were not really looking for love when they first met you. So I just want to pull one more card on that. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, so it's come out in the uh, reverse and I'm not really reading reversals, but I'm being given an indication this person may have been married or in a high level commitment and they are separated or separating at this time. Okay. I feel actually they're separate. I feel like they're alone. They've got the tower there. So I feel like they are in a solitary energy right now, but they've been feeling very stuck in their life. And, um, I feel this person is opening themselves up to a little bit more compassion and self care because whatever they've experienced, they've put other people's needs first when they were younger. I keep getting this. It's like maybe they had to take care of the household in some way. That's what's coming up there. But this is how they feel about you, the two of cups. They know that there's love there. They know that uh, if they were to get into a high level commitment again or get married, um, I definitely see that this person chooses you as their companion. They see that there is a soul connection there. They understand that um, there is a bond like no other. They may not see it as twin flames. They may not quite understand twin flames, but I feel this person is learning about love and how to choose healthy love or how to be healthier in love. Um, and I feel it may be a little bit too late because you've got the Ten of Swords there and the Fool card. So that's like you desiring a new start, but it's only because you're in a protective measure. It's a painful energy to be in. You know, um, Twin Flames, there tends to be a dynamic where it flips, you know, one becomes the runner and then they become the chaser and then vice versa for a short time. And when I met my twin, I know very much uh, I had a relationship with a karmic previously that really broke me. I was completely a shell of myself. I didn't even love myself. Uh, I had self-loathing actually. Uh, because of the toxic nature of a karmic relationship. And um, I was really just like empty. And when I met my twin, I was actually avoiding healing that part of myself. I was actually going out partying and just basically trying to numb the pain of a previous experience. And then I met my twin and I was like, oh, what is this? This was deep. It was intense. There were no words at first that I could even describe what was happening. And I was drawn to my twin immediately to the point where as soon as I saw them, I mentioned to my friend, this is something else. This is, that's my person. And I hadn't even talked to them. And my friend was like, you're crazy. How do you know that? I was like, I just know. I just, there's something about this person. I just know. And they also knew we both kind of like met in that, um, otherworldly energy. And I was scared because I had just been damaged by somebody else. So I thought to myself, this person has the power to damage me even further. And even though there was love there and I wanted to tell my twin, I'm in love with you. I don't understand this, but I just know it's you and me against the world. I actually, in pain, kept my twin at arm's length. I was like hesitant. Sometimes, you know, I would want to reach out and say, hey, do you want to meet today? I miss you. I want to be with you. But I would like, no, you know what? I'm just going to like keep to myself. Um, you know, I don't need this right now. Um, I'm just going to go out and have fun. And I'm just not going to think about love. And I was in a very immature energy, but to give me some sort of fairness, I was in a lot of pain. Okay. I was not expecting to fall in love and I was very spiritually unevolved then. 
I was running away from everything, spiritual gifts, everything. So um, when I met my twin, I pushed and eventually they kind of stepped back and they started to work on themselves, focus on their life's mission and purpose. They got their life together and then so did I. I started to uh, really recognize that the way I was living my life was not the way it should be. I was actually hurting myself even more. And then suddenly I had my tower epiphany moment and then, of course, I went towards my twin and they had become the runner for a brief period and vice versa. And then eventually you come back together in union. But it depends on how long your twin takes to spiritually evolve. And I feel your person is actually doing the work right now. But are they ready? I feel, you know, they're close to being ready in a high level commitment. But I see that also you cannot wait any longer. They've got the moon card. So this person, they dream about you a lot. Uh, they fantasize about you a lot. They actually see you and this person being married together. And they actually see you like um, in nature, you know, almost like getting a, a property um, in like, not in a forest, but in somewhere where there's a lot of like fields. You know, I feel this person, they see like growing old together with you. That's what I see in this person. But with the cross there, this can indicate that they have something that they need to take care of first. This is their outcome energy. So this is how they feel about you. There's a lot of love there. Yes, there are some fears. And these fears are connected to some sort of betrayal. And I feel this person, they're working through stuff. They are healing. The Queen of Cups in their energy tells me that they are going through a very uh, healing self-process. Now, this person, they have not reached out to counseling or anything like that. I feel this person is starting to open themselves up more to a spiritual path. And they feel like they can heal themselves. And that's something that they're doing right now. Their outcome energy is the cross. So this does indicate that this person has to surrender to the union. They're in like the number nine energy. Three plus six is nine, the hermit energy, which means uh, spiritual path, uh, having a lot of knowledge and downloads coming towards them. But also it's a period of enlightenment and reflection in solitude especially since they've got the tower there. They're definitely having some sort of epiphany moment where it's like a paradigm shift. Suddenly they realize, you know, uh, their actions caused an instant reaction in this connection and the whole thing sort of broke down. And of course it takes two to tango. I always know that. But I feel this person, they were in denial and they actually feel a little bit lost and bereft without you and without your emotional care. And they may actually tell you that, but do remember that you are someone who is very passionate and loving and, you know, adventurous and kind and funny and all of those things. And you need someone who is in reciprocity, not someone who just comes to you for emotional care and a, you to be their emotional crutch. Okay. So I feel it's very important to recognize that, but let me see what that cross is, because this can indicate that there is number one, there's a lot of regret here. Okay. This card in the Lenormand deck, it means, uh, obstacles, um, or, you know, fears that they believed were true that put them in a cycle of sorrow and they feel guilt and regret for, you know, surrendering the union, you know, giving up the union for those fears. And I feel this person, um, there's an indication here this person may take responsibility and accountability for their actions, but I also feel they are responsible for something else still. So let me just see what this is before I go any further. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Okay. Uh, the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So um, I'm getting two energies, okay? Uh, one is that they're holding on to abandonment issues, okay? That's the main energy I'm getting. Uh, the Four of Pentacles is to hold on to something. And the cautionary tale with the Four of Pentacles is don't let life pass you by. And I feel this person is starting to realize that they've done that. And the five of pentacles is to be shut out in the cold or have some sort of difficulty. But I'm also getting a secondary energy that somebody in their family unit has been quite unwell and uh, they have now moved in with your person and they are like a, a carer or um, or giving like primary care there as well. I'm just getting this energy of carer. So this person may tell you about this. Um, and it's almost like they feel they have to give a lot of their time and energy to, uh, if they're in a career, I feel like they're trying to juggle everything right now, but they may tell you about this. It's something that perhaps you will understand 
in this person's energy, it's almost like they can't invest 100% in the relationship with you in the next six weeks. I'm seeing, because this reading is good for the next six weeks, and I feel like they are caring for somebody, or they have, their time is given to care for a person who's really dear to them at this time. I mean, it could be, uh, for example, I'm getting a caring energy. It could be that they have children uh, from previous relationships, or, I mean, it could also be that they are uh, beholden to their job or beholden to their circumstances. Like it came up in one of the readings, I think it was the um, Gemini reading that perhaps, you know, some of you, your twin may be in the services and you've given uh, time and um, energy to your country. And it could be that their time is not their own. They have to get leave before they can actually, uh, you know, visit or, you know, be in a relationship. So it could be a lot of factors. Please apply it to your situation. But the cross tells me that this person, they have something that they are beholden to do at this time that, um, it's not that it weighs them down. It just means that some of their time is not their own. So they cannot factor in a relationship at this time. And they may tell you about this. Uh, we have the tower there. So this person is having a huge awakening. Something that they've held onto is breaking down. So the next six weeks is actually a very important phase in this person's life where they are starting to liberate themselves from being stuck. So after the six weeks, I feel like this person has um, the potential to reach out, but I'm going to pull a card on that because this person loves you. This person actually dreams of growing old with you. And there are some fears here, but I feel this person, you know, they are kind of overcoming that level of fear in order to open themselves up to love because their next card is the Queen of Cups, which is to uh, be ready to fall in love. So this is in the next six weeks, but also the Queen of Cups is all about compassion. It's about being a best friend to oneself um, and recognizing that they are worthy of love and respect because I feel this person, they've been healing themselves or they're taking charge to heal themselves so that they can be happy and have that happy ever after. But looking at your chart, I feel like it's almost like the roles are reversing. You're becoming the runner and they are becoming the chaser. And that's exactly as it should be. Again, it's not not a game it's an energetic exchange so you take a step back and your person comes towards you but they are not just coming towards you they're actually encouraged to do the spiritual work which I feel this has been in motion for quite some time with your person but they are coming to the end of that cycle so that they are truly ready to fall in love but let me just pull a card on it before I go to your energy my beautiful Aries thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide my beautiful Aries what do they need to know regarding this person the Queen of Wands. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Green Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? I think they want that card as well. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles. Um, we have uh, the six of swords the hermit and the ace of cups so again i feel it's just telling me the journey of the energy that i could feel in your reading as well as the cards that are popping out um, the queen of wands can indicate that this person was with a karmic or they were with someone and it was very superficial kind of relationship where there was a lot of passion intensity but there was no substance there was no longevity there um, the two of pentacles i feel this is someone that they were connected to before they met you. Okay. And I feel with the two of pentacles there, I feel this person was like, um, I don't feel that this person was like two timing. I don't feel like this person was, um, you know, having you and them. I feel that actually this person was cheated on. I feel they discovered because the tower is a card of shock. So I feel this person, they uncovered something about the person that they were seeing uh, when they met you. And I feel there was a lot of emotional turbulence there. The Six of Swords indicates, you know, they've had a real test when it comes to love. They've learned a lot, but they're being guided out of this situation and they're being sort of encouraged to trust in the unknown. This person, they're the sort of person who wants guarantees in love. You know, they do deep down want to believe in forever, but their experiences have taught them that forever doesn't last very long and they've experienced some level of deception or witnessed it. And I feel it's like they felt actually very alone. Um, I'm actually hearing a song with this card. 
Okay, um, this is the Hermit card, which is a solitary energy. I just wanted to clarify, they're definitely alone. Um, they're searching, and this song actually comes really close to this person's energy. One moment, please. All my life, I've been searching for something. Something never comes, never leads to nothing. This is a very famous song, okay? Um, it's uh, by the Foo Fighters, if my memory serves me well. I may have um, had this song come out in a reading before in the past, but I can't really remember. Uh, so many songs come out, I can't remember them all. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems very familiar. Of course, I know the song as well. I haven't heard it in like years on the radio, uh, but uh, this is the song that's being given for your person. So the fact that it's like all my life, they've been searching for something um, and something never comes or it leads to nothing. So it's almost like every time they invest in something, it just falls apart. So when they meet someone special like a twin flame, they feel it's going to go the same way. Now, this also gives me this sense of crave, you know, this craving energy for your person. It's almost like they need to quieten their mind. Their mind is like like all over the place. So I feel this person really needs some grounding. And this is something that perhaps they are going to be experiencing in the next coming weeks. I mean, also, I feel this person is going to tell you about some sort of spiritual retreat that they are either thinking about going on or that they are booked to go on. There's definitely some sort of travel. I mean, it could be that they're booking a vacation to go away, clear their mind and really just work out what it is that they're doing with their life. But what's happening next is they're coming towards you to reach out for love. Okay, this person's going to make an offering of love. So will you hear from this person in the next six weeks? I mean, I'm getting two energies. You know, I have to be honest. And normally I'm very precise. Normally I'm like, yep, you'll hear from this person in the next six weeks or you won't. Um, but what I'm getting here is this person keeps thinking about reaching out to you and I feel like they've got a message to send, but then they stop. So I just keep getting this energy of like, they're going to message and then they stop. You will definitely have heard from them after six weeks. I feel this person is not done here. They want to reach out. However, how you feel about that is your call. You get to choose my beautiful Aries. We all have free will. But I do see that this person, they have got something else they need to say to you. They will try to make it right in this connection. Now your energy, you've got the whip. Now... You know, in the Lenormand deck, the whip means to keep love at arm's length or to be very cautious because you've noticed that there is a repetition, a cycle in this connection that is painful. And you're, uh, I wouldn't say angry. I feel like the anger has now passed to the point where you're like, you know what, you're numb or you're so over this. So I feel here that there's a bit of tension. Okay. And I feel, um, you know, I just feel like there's a bit of a make or break energy with you and this person when you talk. So I feel like, to be honest, it could go either way because you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords here. It's like you can see that you could be really happy and have a future with this person but also the ten of swords is like it's so painful that this person has to take accountability for their actions and um, be responsible for um, the sort of like cause and effect that happened in this relationship because you can't just sweep it under the carpet so right now I feel like you are fluctuating between the two but I also feel that you're closer to cutting a cord with this person and stepping away because you're putting your own happiness first. You know that you deserve to be happy. And this relationship in its present state is not emotionally fulfilling. So let me just see like after six weeks for your energy, how you're feeling about this. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? How can this transpire? We got the Emperor and we got the Six of Pentacles. So basically, again, as I said, I have to be honest with the energy I get. It could go either way. Six of Pentacles is like you'll weigh up your options when you see that this person takes action because right now I see that you don't believe it. You need to see it first. Also, the emperor energy is this person needs to mature, step up. You know that this person is your divine counterpart, but with that... Um, Six of Pentacles here. Some of you may wonder if this person has been seeing someone else. Uh, the energy that I'm getting right now is no. Every card points to them being on their own. Uh, King of Swords. I mean, there's two people here. So I, I feel also you will have met someone new or someone you're talking to because the swords are all about communication. I feel like you're going to be a bit detached with your twin. You may have a conversation with them, but you need them to take accountability. 
but also I feel like by then you will have met someone new that you're talking to and you'll be wondering which one you choose. Let me just see if there's anything more. Okay. Uh, the death card. Oh, wow. I mean, the death card, again, is... It's almost like I'm not allowed to see any further because the death card is like there must be change. There must be a transition in this twin flame connection because it's like this person, your twin, needs to break their old habits and create space for a healthier relationship with you and show you with action or you're gone. So again, I keep feeling it's make or break for you because you've gone through the twin flame dynamic and you're so over it. Um, you just want to be happy is what I see there. I mean, every card is literally, I'm going to go to one more deck just to see, but every card is telling me that right now it could go either way for you. It's based really on this person's actions. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you show me a little bit more? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, my guys are literally just saying, it's enough. Stop. I'm just giving you what you can see. We got the Six of Pentacles again. So different deck, same cards. Um, it's going to be the same message. Right now, it could go either way. Um, and I feel, you know, the Six of Pentacles actually means a surprise. You're going to be surprised this person reaches out. And this person is also going to be surprised that it's kind of make or break, even though they know deep down they've affected this relationship to such a degree that... Um, they need to own their truth because I feel this person's been running away from their truth for quite some time and they've been hiding their feelings. And I do feel that your person will love you today, tomorrow and always, even if you decide not to accept them back into um, your life. I feel this person regrets not admitting how they felt earlier. So is it a little bit too late? Uh, you know, it depends on you, my beautiful Aries. I'm just going to go get some final cards. Uh, normally, I like to wrap it up a little bit more precise than this. But as you can see, even going to a different deck and them giving me the same cards, it's like, no, it could go either way right now. It just needs to be about how the twin approaches and what their, I mean, their intentions are. Oh, I mean, look at this. These are a beautiful deck here. It's the Heart and Shadow Oracle by Healing Days. And these are messages of things that have been left unsaid. And as I said, um, you know, it says here, I want you back in my life, but I'm afraid. So this person, they are in fear. They have some trust issues there. But, you know, there's no guarantees in relationships. There has to be trust. And once that trust is broken, um, it's hard to repair. But if this person is coming to you first, when you first meet and there are trust issues, that's really hard to overcome. I do feel this person is trying to overcome that. And we've also got, I avoided what I was feeling. So this person knew it was love straight away. They knew that you were very different. Um, I wish I had the courage to be honest. And I feel what this person didn't tell you about is that they had just come out of something that perhaps was like a marriage or a high-level commitment, or they were getting divorced, or there, there's something that's person... There is a secret there. I'm not really sure what it is. I don't feel it's that they've got another person right now. I feel they're in a solitary energy. This person's very private. Perhaps they'll tell you in time. Whether you're interested to know or not, it may explain a few things for you, so that may give you an answer, but I feel it's make or break with this one, okay? So I'm just going to go and get the trinket or room before we close. Ooh. That's the first time nothing really came out, so I've had to go a second time. Uh, we have... The camera, which indicates memories, nostalgia, okay, but again, I feel it's like a snapshot of this person's past that kind of haunts this person. I'm getting it, um, that energy through this camera, but I feel this person, they do want to reunite. I feel like they do want to reach out, and they may actually, like, sort of reach out to you with a message like, remember that time that we did this? Or remember that time where you brought me there? Or remember that time? I feel it's very much like they want to remind you of a time where both of you had the most incredible moment. And also, I mean, look, we got happy. You just want to be happy. You know, I feel like this relationship has not been fulfilling for you and you're choosing happiness. And I feel your person is also choosing happiness. They don't want to let this past situation haunt them forever. But I feel there's just... 
this person's taken a long time to get to this place and you can't wait anymore. And remember, that actually changes the dynamic. Now, we also have the cattle rune. So this is all about fulfillment. You know, when it's applied to like a financial reading, it's all about um, money. But when it's applied to a love reading, it's all about investment. It's about, um, you know, the power of forever. It's also about getting over disappointments, loss. Okay, um, so I feel to some degree there's abandonment and loss that has gone on in this connection. And it's almost like the emotions were pushed down and they were not faced. So when they met their twin, you know, suddenly everything came to the surface and they were overwhelmed with it. Whenever we push emotions away, you know, it doesn't go away. It actually is, you know, stored in some little box in the body. And when the most inconvenient moment is, it tends to resurface and it's bigger than when you put it in the box because it's been festering away for a long time. And that's why it's really important to process as we go. Easier said than done, of course, but I feel this person is feeling the effects of that and how it got in the way of this union. So make or break, that's what I definitely feel with this one. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Aries. It's very complex and very precise, so it may not resonate with everyone, but that's what I'm being given right now, so I have to own it. Um, I'm actually seeing a sign before I go, and it's like a stop sign, like a traffic stop sign, and then there seems to be like this little sticker and or some little sign that's in the sign, and it says, in the name of love. Okay, and love is L heart V E. Okay, so it's like a stop sign, traffic stop sign. So, I mean, that could indicate you just want your twin to stop running, but also, I mean, uh, stop in the name of love. I mean, that was a song, right? I'm not hearing the song. I want you to be clear. So maybe there's no um, connection to it. Uh, I, if I remember that song, actually, it was about someone uh, cheating, I think. So I feel that this person has been influenced by someone betraying them, okay? And they took that uncertainty, caution into the twin flame connection because it was meant to be healed. Um, so, I mean, it could be that you're gonna see a sign like that in the next six weeks and then your twin reaches out. I feel like your twin, it, I just get this energy that it gets a little bit more resolved or there's a connection of conversation after the six weeks for you and this person, but this person may surprise you because I keep feeling they go to send something, but then they talk themselves out of it. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, if something resonates, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries, and love and light.